you remember this ear hill last time, Fran? I remember how steep it was and I remember struggling a little bit to get up and I'm hoping it might be a bit easier this time. No, Maybe we're a bit fitter. Skip up there, I'm going to run. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hold you to that now. <laughs> anyway, it's worthwhile once we get there. We've been here four years ago. <laughs> And uh, it's lovely, the view from up there is great and uh, also the monument at the top is well worth looking for. So I've got the drone with me, so let's go and have a look. Boy that is steep, made it friend. <laughs> Without stopping, so that will do me. <laughs> <laughs> and now I didn't run. <laughs> about the column and it represents so many things it's described as a sundial representing not hours or minutes but centuries of time and of sunlight the sunlight that was there to produce the forests help the forests go grow of the layers of leaves it is taken to make up the coal of all the layers of rocks and strata it represents the mine shaft because this whole area that we've been traveling through for ages is a big, big, or was a big, big mining, coal mining area. And the lakes are made up from the pits and then the mounds are made up from the spoils from mining. Um, and it's fabulous and it's somewhere to sit. There's lots of benches just to sit and think about. And listen to the M42. <laughs> you can cut that out. <laughs> Anyway, it's been good. A good, thought, thoughtful few minutes. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful views. Lovely birch woodland area that's been planted here. And uh, I think we better get moving, get our cruise done today. Yeah, then. I think so. Right, come on. Let's go. Well, it's a gorgeous bright Monday morning and uh, the last time we were here in Faisley we managed to get a sweatshirt wrapped around the propeller at the junction just there and this time we after filling up with water we limped to the moor in here I've got a feeling there's something wrapped around the prop so I'm gonna dive in and have a look and Fran bless her was gonna do this and record it but uh, she suffers with Raynaud's disease uh, in her hands and uh, all her fingers go white when they're cold so uh, I decided I'd be chivalrous and uh, do it for her. So here goes. the 
culprit a rubber fender wrapped around the prop it's obviously come off somebody's boat and uh, sunk to the bottom of the canal but we managed to pick it up coming through the bridge or mooring up for water so I can tell you that was an effort to get off <laughs> it was it really was but clear prop now and we can move on what a difference a day makes what a difference what a difference a few days make oh blimey it's cold woke up to I think it was one or two degrees this morning and a couple of days ago was the first day that we had no fire on no heating for a whole 24 hours um yeah Everybody said it would change, and it has. There's frost on the roof of the boat this morning. There's a cold northeasterly wind, and bringing snows of flurry, flurries of snow even. <laughs> and just as our spring garden on the roof, and we will show you that, it's looking beautiful. All the spring flowers are coming up, and they're all now going, <laughs> take us back down again, it's so cold. But it's lovely, the sun is shining, and it's fine. Yes, it's a beautiful day. We've. Um, left Whittington and we're heading towards Fradley we've got to fill up with water and then we're going to turn at the junction at Fradley onto the Trenton Mersey Canal do three locks and then uh, moor up just before Rugeley. We've got nearly 20 miles to do in three days because Richard's brother is coming to help us through a few locks um, so yeah 20 miles in three days and as long as the weather holds that's fine that's not a problem but I've got a cold, oh, which is very well, it's not, not bad. I'm taking the elderberry roll, which I made last autumn, and uh, I've had the cold really just two days, and I'm feeling much better already. I've shaken it off, I think. So, so nothing more to report. Uh, we'll see you at the end. Whatever the end is, where's the end? One minute sun shining and now we've got snow again. What's happening? Rich!
lentils. Definitely getting four seasons in one day and it's turned glorious now and I'm really enjoying myself it's great to be out the back here and uh, just watching the countryside go by in this beautiful weather it's gonna change in about five minutes though because it's pitch black over there <laughs> Sunshine's come out. Fair weather boat for me, you know that. However, wash the floors, washed up, sorted all the laundry out. I don't know, and other things. <laughs> Made my soup. <laughs> Made your soup. Got the coffee. So when we coming. stop now, there's nothing to do, just chill. And nice. it's glorious now. So we've actually gone a lot further than we expected. Wasn't anywhere particularly suitable out of uh, Fradley to moor up, so I just thought I'll keep going. You've quite enjoyed yourself. Get some yourself. miles, and I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's nice to be uh, on my own. We very rarely cruise on our own. It's the furthest away we are is that one of us is walking on the towpath usually. Um, sometimes it's nice just to get your head clear, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Anyway, that's all over now because I'm back. Oh dear. <laughs> when you're in the boat. Any little touch on the hull or on the side sounds so loud and it has sounded to me like Rich has been crashing and cranking through everything. He assures me he hasn't, but I would be inspecting the new paintwork yeah. when we stop. <laughs> See, the thing is when you're on your own at the back here and you're trying to record and every time you let go of the tiller to press the record button on the camera, the boat just goes <laughs> straight towards the bank and uh, then you have to fight it back. I always know when uh, Rich is filming because you suddenly get the bow thrusters or cranking into reverse because he's got off a soft target. You need me here, see? Yeah, yeah, I need you. I have a bit of a problem with people who call their boats after songs or bands. Because you just get an earworm for the rest of the day. We've just gone past a tiny dancer. Now Richard's singing to me. Oh, we're closer, tiny. <laughs> tiny dancer. Blue Moon is another one. Oh, and the other, no, Mr. Blue Sky. Mr. Blue, Blue Sky. One. That just <laughs> sticks in your head forever, doesn't it? <laughs> so don't do it. Yeah. So as you can see, we've swapped roles. My right arm's aching. Boat's been doing this all the time I've been driving because I've been trying to operate the camera, the cameras, etc. So uh, it's nice to have a nice relax in the sunshine. This is a bit more like spring temperature, isn't it? Now it's just warmed up to about nine degrees centigrade. So uh, three sixes today, definitely. Haven't I? Four, I said earlier on. Did you? Well, where did the summer bit come into it? <laughs> right, mate. Well, on a boat just said, took your time getting here, didn't you? So they're obviously watching us. Hello, whoever you are. No baby ducks yet? Well, up and gone. No, still not seen our first baby ducks, baby moorhens, geese, or swans. The first swallow has apparently been seen over in Wales. Somebody that we know, but no. normally you see your first clutch of ducklings in early March, don't you? Yeah. 
but uh, no, sadly, maybe they still think they're in lockdown. That's me hooting the horn. I've got a blind tunnel or a long bridge to go in, so I can't see a thing. So I just hope there's nobody coming out. I might do that again, actually. That'll tell them. <laughs> this is a tricky one, isn't it? You've given the boat to me to steal all of a sudden. It is a tricky one actually. Well done, Fred. Such a fan of bow thrusters. Yeah, these thank days. God for bow thrusters. Oh, it's getting cold again, mate. That's the shopping done. That should last us for um, well, let's stock up for a few good few days at least, a week or so. A week, yeah. Um, and it's unusual to find supermarkets so close to the canal like that, so you have to yeah, make the most of brilliant. it and stock up. And not only that, two boats away, there's a lady on a boat called Campanula Crochet, and she makes this fab hand stitched cards. So, um, I love buying from other boaters and handmade stuff, wonderful. So yeah, all sorted. Happy, happy girl then. Yes. Right, that's it. That's it for this uh, episode. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to see more, try this video. Or maybe that one. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers now. Bye. Bye. Let's get that pizza in the oven. Whee.